So you guys are wondering what I'm doing today. Uh, we have all the excluders put in, thirds are on, and the bees are filling the box right to the top. Uh, we're working now to get fourths on, but what we're doing first off, um, because we put the excluder in, we're dividing up that brood nest now. And it's 32 degrees and we're, we're sweating buckets out here. Um, we were dividing up that brood nest and what we want to do is make sure that there is no queen activity up in that second box. Uh, I have some uh, untrained guys shaking bees uh, throughout uh, as we're putting excluders in and they may have missed uh, queen cells, supersedure cells. Um, also if there is any uh, hive that we accidentally killed the queen, there'd be emergency cells up in that second box. So what we're doing is before we add the fourths, we, we're quickly uh, tipping the hive back, the second back, and just leafing through the frames, just seeing if there's any queen cells up top. And we want to make sure there's nothing up top going on when we're trying to use escape boards uh, when pulling honey off. Um, the bees don't clear the boxes as well when they're virgins up on top. So we've got to make sure that there's only brood up top to hatch out, to backfill, and any of the hive activity is going on now down below the excluder. So I'll kind of show you what we're doing. So we're just simply taking off the third, which we're finding is full of honey. And then we are going to tip back the that second box. It was a brood box, now we've turned it into a honey super. And we're just making sure that there is no queen cells. And here is one that got missed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got to make sure that this doesn't hatch out and cause us trouble later on. So we just kind of smash it. And then we just kind of leaf through the bottom looking, peering up just to take a look to see if there's any other queen cells in the top box that got missed through the shake. We're working pretty fast as we shake bees. <clears throat> So some had missed and then we've been through a few hundred hives now and we've noticed two hives that were drawing out emergency cells where we probably killed the queen through our process. So we made sure that uh, they'd carry out the requeening process on their own below the queen excluder and we killed all the emergency cells up top. So here's a hive I'm working on. Like here's our third. Look at the honey packed in here already. We've got a box full of honey, we've got to put fourths on right now and fifths next week. So I just basically go through, leafing through. There's, there's cups in there, but they can't do anything with the cups. Leafing through the brood. Nothing going on. So then we close her up and they follow behind with fourths. And then we, as we're doing this, we're also assessing these hives further one last time. Um, this hive is particularly big, so I just count the brood frames in here and she's got four frames of brood still in this box. So we might skim this and boost up a smaller hive yet. So after this round, this is the last time we look down into the brood nest. This is, this is it. We are now into the honey flow and we handle honey boxes from now on until September. So it doesn't take us long, uh, probably about half an hour a yard. Everything has a fourth box on it now. <clears throat> I have two crews going, so we're gonna get roughly uh, five or 600 hives done today and tomorrow and then Friday. We should just be able to finish up. Everything should be in fourth by Friday. Next week we'll go around and add fifths and then see where the flow takes us from there.